ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. This is Nash from Tesla and the Gong, and this is the world famous Macquarie Pass. And I've always wanted to do Macquarie Pass on autopilot. I mean, we have cyclists on the road, we have uh, cars climbing up, cars coming on the other way. I'm going to see how many times we'll have to disengage autopilot on Macquarie Pass with autopilot turned on. And despite what you see, I'm going to try and be as safe as possible. If I see cyclists who are trying to climb up, I'm going to respect that and I'm going to not um, antagonize them by trying to go too close to them or anything like that. We'll see how this goes. I have absolute, absolute uh, respect for these guys who are trying to climb up Macquarie Pass. It's not an easy climb by any stretch of imagination. Massive respect for these guys. So I'm going to try and be as safe as possible. Let's see how this goes, guys. Um, uh, the, the ground rules are we will count the number of disengagements uh, on the screen uh, and we'll see how autopilot handles this there are cars following me as well if somebody wants to overtake me i'm just going to let them do that um let's see let's see this is going to be something exciting i think i've never done this before so this will be my first attempt at uh at uh, crossing uh, macquarie pass i've not yet engaged autopilot i'm just going to wait for a slightly straightish kind of road before I start because there is the first hairpin bend that comes some sometime now I think um, and then we'll take it from there okay that's autopilot turned on 60 kilometers an hour it says slow down okay first is disengagement that one straight away I had to disengage now I will do this once autopilot or rather full self-driving comes here to Australia there is an overtaking lane up ahead. Look at this, it's we're still on autopilot. Look at that, okay, second disengagement. There is number two, autopilot turned on again. Okay, so far so good. It went over the double median line a little bit. I'm being absolutely careful. My hands are on the steering wheel and I'm ready to take over any moment. Okay, there is a, um, an, a hairpin bend coming up right about here i doubt the car will do it okay that's the third third disengagement i'll take the slow lane no worries okay form a single lane sorry about that i'm going to keep this video as unedited as possible so three disengagements till now okay keep going keep going darling okay 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 that is going over the median line so i'm going to take over not happy doing that okay autopilot turned on again so there is four disengagements till now now I'm being super duper in control my hands are always on the steering wheel so this is not autonomous driving even when FSD comes I'll probably keep my hand on the steering wheel for a fair bit there you go Okay, look at that come up. Look at that come up there. Look at that. I I absolutely doubt the car will be able to do that. Let's see. So far, so good. Four disengagements till now. I'm being completely careful, guys. Oh, if you are trying this, be absolutely careful. This is not an easy uh, stretch. Look at that happen, Ben. Come. That's, I love that bend all the time. I really love that, that particular spot. You can actually see the uh, sandstone rocks. Oh, I had to disengage there, it went too close. Okay, no, it wouldn't turn on. Okay, that's okay. This is the one I was talking about. I'm still on on, on uh, TACC. Um, so it's not autopilot, but this is uh, traffic aware cruise control uh, with the uh, blue line there. You can see that there. Okay, let's turn this on again. I wonder, I wonder not too bad not too bad okay one more time i've lost track of number of times we've disengaged but uh the the count should be on the screen whoa that's a little unnerving that one okay 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 one more time okay i'm going to keep this as unedited as possible um so uh, you'll see how many times i had to disengage in this round of autopilot run across Macquarie Pass, the world famous Macquarie Pass. If you've not watched my other video uh, through the Macquarie Pass, I have that in the top right corner. I'll link that there as well as in the description of this video. 
went across the double median line there, so that was scary. I had to disengage there. Now, that is a follow car. I wonder if uh, the follow car is making a difference. If I'm, if I'm in front, it'll try to do 60 kilometers an hour. Uh, I, I don't think it recognizes these 35 kilometers uh, uh, recommendations, speed recommendations. It wouldn't engage. So, okay, so far so good. The car ahead of me is going uh, at about 40 kilometers an hour. So I guess that is why I am able to maintain autopilot for so long. If you are the lead vehicle, it will try to do 60 because that is the recommended speed on these roads. You can see I have disengaged and re-engaged many times. The counter should be there at the bottom left corner. Keep a watch over that. Okay, okay, it's not bad. I'm surprised that it is able to do this much. Wow, that is that's something. That is something. So every time it disengages, or every time I disengage, I'm re-engaging it as well. Um, and uh, we'll take it from there. The counter should be in the bottom left corner. Okay, that was a little unnerving, so I took the car out of autopilot. Back again. What do you guys think? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. But again, be absolutely safe if you're trying this. This is not autonomous driving, so you need to be in control. My hands are on the steering wheel at all times watching the rear uh, mirror and the side view mirrors over and over again and I have a lead vehicle to uh, to blame on uh, nobody behind me is going to get upset that I'm, I'm driving slowly because the, the guy in front of me is uh, is being quite safe too which we ought to be uh, we ought to be safe in this road uh, do not do anything unsafe um, I'm taking one for the uh, team by trying out autopilot you look at this there's no median line there the car wants to go more to the midline and now it comes back to the left side look at that look at that okay now i'm not taking i'm not taking any chances with these large vehicles uh, i do not take chances with the uh, motorbikes as well they can they can drive quite fast so i just let them be okay it asked me to take over i try i thought it'll go but it didn't okay okay again so far so good what is the count guys what is the count Keep watching the uh, bottom left corner of the disengagement and engagement of autopilot. Um, many of uh, you guys have asked for this run and that's why I'm doing that. Because it keeps the center of the road, it is a little unnerving at times because uh, uh, perspective, I can't. I, I think that I'm, I'm too near the uh, left side of the road than on the right where we usually tend to prefer to drive. But uh, yeah, that's that. Uh, when FSD comes, we will repeat this drive again and then we will have a count as well. There is an overtaking lane coming up. I'm going to try and keep it to the left side of the road so that uh, people who are trying to overtake me can by all means go uh, and overtake. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. What do you guys think till now? Is it all good or do you think it's terrible? Yep, that is the overtaking lane. We will keep to the left side of the road and I'll reduce the speed as well so that anybody who wants to overtake, by all means they can. And yeah, some, some people are taking advantage of the fact that I'm driving slowly and they are overtaking. But that gives me a longer stretch of autopilot and engaged drive here. That's not too bad. This is a slightly flattish kind of a road and then there is that section that's going to be a, a massive challenge um now also don't forget to uh, enjoy the uh, visuals um uh, ancient uh, uh, rainforest gorgeous spot for um a lot of bushwalks uh, you i'm sure you've seen uh, some of my bushwalk videos i have jump rock which we started off from you can see these waterfalls there's one here on the right, a tiny one. There are loads and loads of waterfalls in this road uh, and they are all absolutely gorgeous. One of the uh, best spots um, uh, in, in the whole of Australia. There's no uh, center median here, so I'm not going to take a chance. So I'm going to drive in this spot. Uh, not going to let autopilot do that. Oh, why, is, why are people being impatient? What's the honking for? Well, it's not for me, but why are they honking? Oh, for the guy in front, that's not fair. He's probably driving up uh, Macquarie Pass for the first time. Don't have to honk. It can be, you know.
Oh, it wouldn't turn on autopilot. Okay, okay. No worries, no worries. Keep watch. Keep watching the uh, the sides of the road. You can see one more waterfall come up here. How good is that? How good is that? Because there's no center median, I wonder if I turn on autopilot, it wouldn't turn on. No, it said no. Sorry, autopilot temporarily unavailable. Okay. Now we see it's trying to go to the center of the road. Okay, I'm not going to take a chance with that. Okay. And also, I'll put the longest stretch of autopilot disengagement on the right side of the screen. You can watch that. This is that sheer uh, cliff. I, mean, I don't know why I turned on the... Look at that. Look at that beautiful rock. Oh, I love this. Every time I come here, I love this. Anyway, back. Okay, autopilot is engaged again. This is, once more, uh, an overtaking lane. By all means, people can overtake and, and uh, take advantage of the fact that I'm going slowly. The left lane is about to end. I don't. I hope people don't you know, try to overtake at this point. Um, auto lane change is still unavailable for me. Uh, as of 4.11, update my um, autopilot lane changing uh, was disabled. Uh, sorry, was disabled for some reason and it does not come back even after I did uh, the 4.12 update. I did go to Tesla and they said the ultrasonic sensors are all okay. So it is more to do with uh, some firmware and they said by the time the dot 13 or whatever the next update is, uh, this should be uh, solved. So fingers crossed on that one. I'll update you guys on that. Now the, car, the road has become an 80 kilometer an hour road. Um, so uh, we're okay. And this is a more uh, straightish kind of a stretch of Macquarie Pass. How good is that? So what is the count till now? Um, what did you think of this drive? Uh, please please leave your thoughts in the comments below and while you're at it a subscription to the channel will be highly appreciated I am uh, nearing 7,000 subscribers uh, it'd be nice if more people can support my work uh, I have loads and loads of um, playlists where we do these urban autopilot challenge this is not urban but even so we do these autopilot challenges I have multiple videos uh, with those uh, autopilot runs so do check that out I have DIY videos as well okay the road is becoming a 60 kilometers an hour road so I'm gonna scroll wheel down and make it 60 let's see if the car is able to take this uh, left turn it was able to take one very similar one in uh, Shell Harbor in my previous 4.6 run no okay it wants to disengage here fair enough we we'll re-engage again and uh, we'll keep going as I was saying, so I have DIY videos, I have tutorials, um, I have uh, loads and loads of these autopilot runs and uh, I have some interesting interviews on my channel. So do check them out, leave your thoughts in all of those videos. Um, very soon I have a giveaway coming up, so uh, look out for that. I really love this stretch as well. I'm not sure if the camera is able to uh, grab this. The view on the left is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. How beautiful is that? I hope the camera was able to catch that. So the longest autopilot stretches are on the right side of the screen and the number of disengagements on the left side of the screen at the bottom. So please check those. A sub to the channel will be highly appreciated. been so far so good just seems to veer a little bit to the left side of the road uh, uh, at times but having said that um, it's been reasonably good I have deliberately not ad added any music to this and I've not edited this out and kept it as raw as possible uh, so that you know that I'm not um, faking this this is a, a proper run um, and you can see how autopilot is performing. Uh, some people have asked me uh, with, with regards to rain and two of my rain related videos for both my Model 3 and my Model S are there on my channel so do check that out. Uh, it becomes an 80 km an hour road all you have to do is hold down the left stock it changes to 80 and the car picks up speed. There you go just look at this beautiful beautiful valley on the right 
So these stretches are all okay. There's a little bit of a uh, right turn that comes up uh, up ahead, uh, just past, just near Jamburu Mountain Road. We'll see how the car behaves there. And um, right now I'm going off to attend the Earth Hour event in uh, Southern Highlands Botanical Gardens. This is the entrance of Southern Highlands. You can see them there. That's where I'm going. I have a separate video on the event as well. Do check that out. And this is the Ilavara Fly uh, Treetop um, Adventure, which is quite beautiful. I've not been there before. I've heard good things about that. I'll try and uh, get a video of that someday very soon. So far, so good. And on the right is the Robertson Pie Shop, the world famous Robertson Pie Shop. Um, it's a lovely, lovely spot. I'm not sure why it picked up at 30 kilometers an hour, but this is a 80 kilometers an hour road, so I just want to push up the speed. Come on, it doesn't want to... Why does it want to stick my my speed to 30? Okay, never mind. I'm just going to override and, and drive, but I'm still on autopilot. And that's why it says autopilot speed is at 30. Just waiting for the next uh, speed sign to come up so that I can um, tell uh, the car what to do. Okay, now we are entering into the um, uh, township of, of Robertson. It becomes a 50 kilometers an hour road, so I'll drop down to 50. But I have not disengaged autopilot for a fair while now. It's been great till now. Okay, once it recognizes 50, all I need to do is hold down the left, uh, the uh, right uh, stock, and the car recognizes the speed and then changes to 50. There you go. I am staying within speed limits. Uh, if you have more thoughts on the Macquarie Pass drive, please leave your thoughts in the comments below. Uh, but in these long straight stretches, the car performs flawlessly as you can see and uh, as you've seen in my previous runs as well. Um, it's been a good drive till now. It's been a good drive till now. I know people get a little upset when we are at 50, 50 kilometers hour road, but uh, I've got to try and uh, stay within speed limits here. And look at this beautiful, beautiful valley on either side. Oh, it's so gorgeous, isn't it? Robertson is one of my favorite spots. Um, I, whenever I feel a little upset or a little depressed, I come here and then uh, one grab a pie. Of course, food always cheers up anybody, I suppose. And not just that, the, the whole place is just absolutely gorgeous. I love this spot. Okay, I'll go to the left side so that if anybody wants to overtake, by all means, they can. I'll slow down as well for them to overtake. That's all good. I don't want to antagonize anyone. Right, I don't think there's any more excitement from here on in. This is like any other autopilot. Uh, so we'll um, finish the video here. We'll stop the video here. What did you guys think? Did you guys enjoy the uh, Macquarie Pass? Autopilot run. Many people have, have asked uh, in my comments to do this Macquarie Pass autopilot run, and I finally um, was able to do this. Um, uh, leave your thoughts in the comments below. Um, if you like what you're seeing, click on that subscribe button and also click on the thumbs up button so that you can uh, get notifications of my videos as soon as they come. Click on that bell icon as well for the notifications, that is. Uh, if you are in the lookout for a sexy of your own, an S3X or a Y, kindly consider using my referral code. Uh, details are there in the description of this video. Both of us will get 1,500 kilometers of supercharger credits. And in my case, my supercharger credits are tied to my hire vehicle, which I hire via ev.com.au, X Canberra. Do check out those details in the description as well. Until I see you guys, another interesting video. This is Nash from Tesla and the Gong, signing off. Peace.